Good morning, my loves. Happy Saturday from the lake. It is a bright, beautiful day here at the lake in Arizona. Temps, are you ready? The high today's 100. That is a big deal here. That is huge. So, kind of exciting. Temps next week, under 100. That's that's tremendous. That's That's fall. That makes my heart smile. So, I'm pretty happy about that. If you saw the reel that I did earlier, a reel is under a minute. And I posted on Facebook, of course, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And it was about, you have the right to feel whatever you feel. That's up to you. That's your choice. But you do not have the right to project what you feel on other people. Because that's your choice, not theirs. Happiness is a choice. Every day you make that decision when your little eyes pop open. And how you react or respond to situations throughout your day. Your choice. Your decision. You can react. Say something you will regret. You just shoot from the hip. It's going to bite you in the ass. Or you can respond. You can take a minute. Think about what you're going to say. Think about what you're going to say. That's the kicker. And then say it. Or my favorite, walk away. Is it really worth your time and energy? Are they, the person that's pushing your buttons, are they worth your time and energy? Think about how you want to react, respond, or handle the situation. Because it's a choice. That choice can affect your entire day. Eons ago, when I lived in St. Louis, if I got up, and it was just a bad day. I may have been running late. The cat may have thrown up. You know, the usual things that happen in life that will just throw off your morning. What I would do, instead of getting all snarky, on my way to work, I would stop and get three or four dozen donuts. It was a law firm. I was medical coordinator of an asbestos law firm back then. And I would take donuts for everybody. So if I'm in a bad mood, I'm going to do something nice for other people. Instead of taking my bad mood out on other people, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to do something altruistic. I don't do it for the kudos. You know, that was a lot of money. But I do it because it's giving. It's better to give than receive. And actually, my opinion, when you give of yourself, when you take pizza or, you know, buy pizza for the office, you take donuts or whatever, you are giving back. You are. And that's how I would handle a bad mood. That's how I would handle a bad morning. I've done all kinds of stuff like that my entire life. That's how I handle it. And it's not for the kudos and the pat, you know, the pats on the back. It's just how I handle situations. I choose to be happy. My choice. I do have my moments, trust me. I am a natural redhead. But I have learned through the years, some things just aren't worth my, worth my time and energy. So think about it and don't project your negativity on other people. We have all walked into a room and somebody's in a mood. They literally suck the air out of that room. We have all had people we know, maybe somebody in your life, that is just, they just siphon the life right out of you. People are either, no, listen close. They are either connections, a healthy connection that will nurture you, lift you up, support you, and as I like to say, feed and nurture your soul. Or they are an attachment, kind of like a parasite, and they literally suck the life out of you. They might also try to suck the money out of you, so be careful of that. But know the difference between connections and attachments. Make wise choices. And you know, back in the day when mom and dad said, you are the company that you keep, they were right. Because if you and your friends are positive, uplifting people, you're happy, well, that's going to spread. Because happiness is contagious. However, so is negativity. So if you're hanging with a bunch of negative people, your mood's going to go down, your attitude's going to go down, your behavior is going to go down. Think about that. 
So if you're unhappy most of the time, look at the company that you keep. Talk to your kids about this. They won't want to hear it, but talk to your kids about it anyway, because it's very true. If they're hanging around kids that are having a difficult time at home, having a difficult time at school, they're unhappy in life, maybe they're drinking, doing drugs, doing things kids shouldn't be doing, well, and your child's behavior is starting to reflect that, talk to them about that. And so often I see people of all ages that think, well, I can fix it, I can make them better. No, honey, you can't. It's a beautiful thought, but it's not your job to fix people. Your job is to fix you. They have to fix themselves. And if they choose to be miserable and unhappy, that's on them, that's not on you. However, that can get your butt into a lot of trouble if they're acting out and you're with them. So please keep that in mind and talk to your kids. I wish people would talk to their children early on about happiness being a choice because we start learning that life lesson very early. Things happen when you're little and you automatically react because that's what babies do, toddlers do. They don't know any better, but they can be taught because it's all learned behaviors, how to handle situations differently. Children reflect, they mirror the behaviors of the parent. So if your home is in chaos, somebody's upset, you're mad, bad day at work, somebody lost their job, you're having to move, it's just one of those days and you come home and you're unpleasant to be around, you're showing your child by example that in my family, this is how we deal with stress. No, no, don't, don't do that to them. Don't do that to them. Show them that in my family, when we're upset, we talk about it. You sit down and you say, you know, mom, dad has had a bad day. I think I need a hug. I think I need just a few minutes to myself and I'll be better. I just need to cuddle the cat. I just need whatever you need. But use your words. Teach your kids to use their words. Show them by example a healthy way to handle stress, anxiety, fear, worry, grief. Because they're going to model your behaviors. So if you have a toddler in preschool that's acting out, biting and kicking and being a stinker, the teachers are going to ask, is everything okay at home? Because they know these kids model what they see at home. Not that you're biting and kicking, I hope you aren't. But if there's stress in the home and the kids see violence, they see fighting and yelling and screaming, they're gonna mirror that in conflict in their life. So let's look at your life, look at their life. Make happy choices, wise decisions, because sweetheart, you are so worthy of happiness and joy and love, but it has to start with you. Self-care is not selfish, it's essential. Do something every day that makes your heart smile. Right now, I'm having my, let's see, it's the third cup of coffee. That makes my heart smile. I got up this morning, believe it or not, I did do something with my hair, you can't tell right now. I looked better earlier, I've been up since four. But I get up, I get ready, I spritz on my cologne, makes my heart smile. I get the coffee going, make my heart smile. I look, you know, outside, the sun's rising, took a photo, made my heart smile. Little things that make your heart smile. Teach your kids about little things that make their heart smile. Hugging the dog, hugging the cat, talking to grandma, spending time with you. Makes their heart smile. Might make your heart smile too. Have a great weekend.